되겠어요. 기계. 19, 2020, 6.41pm. This is episode 966. This is this week's cartoon for the CNN newsletter. I have not written the blog for this or anything yet. I don't know if I'm going to write a long one for this. I'm going to go ahead and post a video for the cartoon. Um, I had fun with this, and this is a pretty cool story in that most weeks I draw at least 10 ideas for CNN. Sometimes it's much, many more, much more, many more, a lot more. Um, and I gotta tell you, whenever I do a whole bunch of cartoons to get to one cartoon, it, it can actually just take the the enthusiasm out of me. It just it can just be really, really tough. Um, in any situation, with you know, with, with with anything, you know, it just is. And it's, and I do it to myself when I'm thinking about my next cartoon for uh, my newspapers and stuff. I, I can just it, if I not find that right idea and I go through a bunch of it, it'll just like ruin me. Um, this week. CNN is the only second time this happened. They liked the very first one. They were like, let's go with that. Um, they, they, in fact, my editor was dead set. He's like, I don't think you're going to top it with <laughs> top this one. This one's really, really good. He liked it. And the funny thing is, when I first drew it, I drew this one to um, just get the conversation started about what subject we were going to cover and let's see, you know, where we need to go with more ideas and stuff. And so, and I thought of it, but I don't just draw something just to draw something to send a piece of crap. Intentionally, um, might accidentally. I I thought it out and put it together. Then I started to like it. And then after I put it into the email, and I had a really hard time with the last one. Like, what do I want to say with it? Tear down this wall. Then what? Then I thought of the tear into some goya beans. And I didn't think much of it. I put it in the email. When I saw it in the email before I put in, I started to laugh about it. And it's like, I think I do like this. This is really cool. If they don't like this, I'm gonna draw for my clients. And within minutes, he replied like, uh. Like mic drop. <laughs> so we were done. And I was like, cool, and it was Thursday. And I had to go back look to see how I've drawn my presidents in the best. So anyway, I, I had a lot of fun with this one. It was good. I just felt good about it. Alright. Robert Cortina writes, I don't think most people understand your point regarding regarding John Lewis here with a John Lewis cartoon, you know, up in heaven. They're asking if he's there to cause trouble. I wanna to have to respectfully disagree with you, Robert Cortina. Coutinho. Oh, maybe I don't disagree with you. Uh, if people don't understand that point, then they don't understand John Lewis. They don't understand the issue. They don't understand that that he is really big on that quote about causing good trouble. So, yeah, if they don't get that, then I, this one time I don't think it's I'm, it's my failure. I think it would be the reader's failure. I had a reader in Canada ask me on oh, my blog yesterday, like, who's John Lewis? I never heard of the guy. I didn't even respond to that. You know, I, it's not my job to educate everybody. So, I, I try to do something that everybody gets and be informed about. But speaking about being misinformed, he's TJ. Got a link to the New York Times. He's on the whole still dossier, ignoring all the other stuff that he's like, Trump doesn't lie. It's six months later, it's proven to be fact. He has this whole, and then he's like, ooh, boom, in your face. TJ. TJ. Um, he's still complaining about the still dossier, and uh, the FBI found problems with it. But the thing is, TJ, you're talking about how it had credibility problems. Everything used to get a warrant has credibility problems. Do you know what the, if they had all the facts and everything together from super duper reliable sources and credible people, they wouldn't need the warrants. They'd go ahead and make arrests. Um, they, they get warrants based upon information from drug dealers, you know, all the time. Drug dealers, crack, crack dealers, prostitutes, gangsters, people with a personal grudge. Um, this whole thing about, well, you can't re rely on everything in the dossier, not to press charges, you can't. E exactly right. To get a warrant, yes, you can. I if you think that there's enough information there to get a warrant, to follow Carter Page. Let me put this in your face. You're defending a fucking Russian spy. Or, or an accused Russian spy. A guy who, and he wasn't a Russian spy, it's only because Russia didn't want him to be a spy. You're accusing, you're defending a Russian spy. A guy who wanted to be a Russian spy that Donald Trump was dumb enough to fucking hire. And that's what you're defending there. In their whole rush that Donald Trump does not lie. Seriously, dude. Stand up for your country instead of this fucking hero worship you got going. Cat Bubba, give me a good compliment. Thank you, Cat Bubba. Yes, the other guy got a comment. Sorry I spent too much time on TJ. Oh, I gotta stop doing that. Not worth it. Not worth it. Alright, everybody. Have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Got my next idea and I'm gonna draw it later. Bye.